and you can see the attitude in her face. You can see how she's snarling. Now I think here she's more edgy and that's exactly what the song needed. It's interesting, she's really mixing it, she's really leaning into the text. beautiful singers today we are back on track with Gigi I just reacted to her last video she was singing ABBA dancing queen and I'm so excited to see that on Holly because I saw the trailer and I saw it on MGN's channel and he was reacting to it and I was like oh my god I need to see it it's so excited I think she's doing it really really cool because the snippets I saw from the trailer they were really really triggering and I, I want to jump right into it my friends don't forget to subscribe thumbs up and leave a nice comment. We're also on Instagram and we're also on TikTok. Let me know which artist you want to see next in the coming time. I'm back on track, happy, energized, well rested and brown if you didn't notice. <laughs> but it's getting again back to blonde. Okay, good, let's start. Okay, I have to make a small little stop. Now, I saw that ABBA reaction and I was like, hmm. It's very clean, it was very well sung. She started really high off with a lot of power, but it was, in comparison to this one, quite different, right? So I think here she's more rocky, she's more edgy, has a little more dynamic into it, there's a different flow and there's a different attitude. And if you go back to watch or see the ABBA video, you will notice how important the right attitude is for the song that you are singing. You cannot go and sing ABBA with a rocky attitude, it might change the song. And if you go and sing Unholy and you sing it really boring in an operatic style, it might also will change the dynamic of the dynamic of the song so you notice having an attitude you can see the attitude in her face you can see how she's snarling you have the Billy Idol stuff now, like he was always snarling and, 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 and puckering with his lips because they can also do something with your tone now I think here she's more edgy and that's exactly what the song needed so let's I'm excited to see more but all the fun, it's Daddy, daddy boy, daddy. That's a, a larynx that is tilted, yeah? And there's a lot of air pushing through the vocal folds and that's why you're having a distorted sound here. Daddy, a lot of, you know, pushing basically air through your vocal folds. Yeah, this creates kind of that sound. Really cool, I really like it. That has to be brought into it. Very fast rotating, very shaky, and that gets that, that, that kind of tone. It's interesting, she's really mixing it, she's really leaning into the text. I love the clean. What I also noticed what is quite refreshing is a lot of singers are using cursive singing nowadays. You already got that, right? Every TikTok video has a lot of cursive singing. People are sounding, uh, sometimes I think people sound really distorted by doing this kind of cursive singing, kind of Sia style. And here you see she is on point. She's articulating very well, very clean. Um, and she's close to the microphone. You see her lips are moving, so they are not, um, they have a good amount of energy and the muscles are really supporting her well. Now, sometimes people can have not enough energy around this area. If you don't have a lot of energy around this area and this muscle is not tight enough, that 
will also make your sound very muffling. Yeah, it will not be juicy, it will be not really forward. You will struggle with your singing if that whole part is not really, you know, helping you. Okay, let's continue. Very nice, I love it. Doing something unholy is a very high larynx here, my dear. Then we have a high larynx and that makes that baby sound. You, If you play around with your larynx, you are a big step forward in your singing journey in creating different voice colors, different, um, different dynamics in your singing. This is exactly what you want to do. You don't want to be all the time singing with one larynx position. Different styles require different larynx position and they require different dynamics. And this is exactly what she's doing. She's enhancing certain stuff that she is singing and therefore she's playing around with the larynx. Really cool. Love it. Yeah, so now she's getting from the baby larynx into a more aggressive tone and the vocal folds come together now very more firmly. Really, really nice, love it. And she's pushing a little bit air and that gets to the this this, this that gets to this distorted sound. Oh, I hate it when I switch up in my German language. <laughs> Terrible. Sorry. <laughs> I have to change that. Uh, but you know, like again I said, what I really like is the attitude. And I think that makes the singer also a singer. Is is she's really feeling that song and her larynx is also tilted. She has that moaning sound into it and she's feeling it. It's exactly what I think is really cool. You are you are subscribing for the energy of the singer. You are following because the song has energy and the singer has energy as well. This is what I this is my opinion. Okay. Hey, So I love also how she's doing the ends, yeah? This is exactly what I have to tell also my student. The ends are so important. The ends are so important. Don't forget, not, not only the beginning matters, but the ends and how you are finishing them off. Are you going high? Are you breaking the melody? Are you changing the patterns? Are you doing a riff or a run? Are you doing a scream or a distorted sound? And this is exactly what she's doing. She has really cool energy, really. Vocal fry. Have to make a stop. I have to recover from this what I saw. I have to be reanimated to get back alive. I have to again playing with the thought of quitting my job. And <laughs> it was really good. I, I, I love it. I love it. I really like it. I'm just I'm freaking amazing impressed by the freaking Filipino singers. Ah, but I, I, I can never stop not doing this channel because there's so many cool, impressive artists which is they are amazing they are so highly talented it's 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 crazy so distorted sound rock sounds and she's she went there through going through vocal fry uh, vocal fry high larynx leads you into the fry that you need for distorted sounds there's a difference vocal fry is on the level of your vocal folds uh, and then you have the really high fry which are the false 
vocal folds, the vestibular folds, vestibular folds, and they are they are actually here. They are on top of the vocal folds. They are two, and um, they are. What do you call it? It's gewebe. Okay, let's continue. Cool guitar, cool band. They are also very. Really good. Really, really cool. Really nice. Ah, KC was the singer that she reminded me. She reminded me of KC. Different spirit though, different energy, different attitude. The attitude is kind of like, yeah, it's not far away. They have some similarity. Really cool. I really want to see more of her. What an amazing, nice, and holy uh, performance. Forget all about the TikTok stuff I saw. Terrible, boring, can't see it anymore. Scrolled it enough. Actually, really good. So much better than 